right now the second concert ever. Bank Stadium is kicking off and no doubt fans are ready to rock and roll. Metallica's show is one of only two concerts the band is playing this show. It comes just a day after the first concert at the new stadium. That was Luke Bryan last night. Kate Raditz got reviews on the good, the bad, and how the stadium officials say things could improve. It was an incredible night. Mike Fouts couldn't wait to take his country fan son to see Luke Bryan at U.S. Bank Stadium. The facility is absolutely out of this world. Um, nice to see what we got for the money. But there were some hiccups before the concert even started. Mike said they waited about five minutes trying to figure out where to go and get to their seats. The lines were were tough. They, there wasn't a lot of signage explaining where we were supposed to go. On Twitter, fans and subpar acoustics. Sky high parking rates were also a complaint. We did a debrief after the concert pretty late. Everybody got together and talked about what worked, what didn't work as well. Minnesota Sports Facilities Authority Kelm Helgen says stadium officials already added additional directions to find will call for tonight's show. She says staff will continue to meet up until the start of the regular NFL season to refine all that. Fans were quick to say even with a few flaws, it was a great concert. Everyone was having a really good time. The fact that it's our new stadium and we're all proud to have it here. No matter what the review, Metallica fans didn't care getting a surprise appearance from the band at a pop-up shop in Minneapolis Friday night. They're ready to see the legendary band in a venue officials hope to see become a stadium. We've heard a lot of good things about the venue, so we're very excited to see it. Both concerts at U.S. Bank Stadium sold out. The first preseason game at home will take place on August 28th. That's next week already against the San Diego Chargers. And the first NFL home opener will take place between the Vikings and Packers on September 18th. Busy place. Thank you, Kate.